Welcome. I've done a number of videos on doing network speed tests, and I've done tests so you can test your Wi-Fi connection and such like that. And I'll put a link in the description to a playlist where you can find those videos. And in some of those videos, I've tested doing a speed test between a client, like a computer or a mobile phone, to a Synology NAS, and testing essentially the network connection between those two. So I got a comment on a video recently asking how to test internet speed from a Synology NAS. So that would be if you had a Synology NAS, you want to test how fast the internet speed is from the NAS to the actual internet. So if you're on a computer, you can just go to like speedtest.net. And you could run your speed test here. But you don't have a web interface on the DSM. So I'm going to talk about a technique you can use running this on the command line and using Docker. So you'll need two things set up. You need to install Docker and enable the command line. So to install Docker, you want to go to your package center. And then you want to go to search and just type in Docker. And then you'll have an install here. I have open because I've already installed it. But you'll click on install and that will install Docker. And that will probably take a few minutes. Next, you need to install the command line or enable it. So you want to go to your control panel. And then you need to be in advanced mode. So basic mode looks like this. If you click on advanced mode, you'll see there's more options here. And you want to go down to terminal and SNMP. From here, you want to check enable SSH service and then hit apply. So once you've done those two things, now you can log into your disk station manager on the command line using SSH. So go to a terminal here. If you're on Linux, you can open a terminal up. If you're on Windows, you can open up the command line or PowerShell. And you'll need an SSH client. So on Windows 10, you can install the Windows 10 native SSH client. You can also use software like Putty. So to connect to the NAS, you'll type SSH space and then your username and then the IP address of your NAS and then hit enter. It will ask you for your password. Now I've already stored my password in here, but if you don't, you'll type in your password, the same one you used to get into the disk station manager. And I'm on an account that has the admin privileges. So from here, we want to run a Docker command and I'll put a link in the description of this page here. This is on Docker Hub and it's speedtest.cli. I'll scroll down a little bit and we can find this command here. It says docker run dash dash rm and then mutin slash speedtest.cli. I'll copy this line. I'll go back to my terminal. I'll clear my screen here. I'll type sudo space and I'll paste this in. I'm gonna make my terminal a little bigger here. I don't remember how big this is. It'll ask for your password. So this is your password you use to log in with. So it says it couldn't find it locally. So it's going to download it. And I should mention this doesn't work on every Synology NAS. It only works on ones that support Docker. And I think that's probably every single one that has the Intel processor. I don't think the ones that use an ARM processor work with Docker. Okay, so now it's running the test. So we have the download speed. I have 45.86 megabits per second. And we have the upload speed is 18.79 megabits per second. So I think this works as well as the web interface, really. It's a lot cleaner actually to look at, as long as you know what you're looking for. You want to look for the download colon and upload colon lines. So I'll clear my screen here and I'll run this again. And now it should run a little faster since it's already downloaded it. And within the Docker application on the Disk Station Manager, you can run things in the terminal, but it flashes and goes away right away. I don't know how to make it pause. So if someone knows how to do that, they can always drop a comment below and you can read through that. So here we are running the test again. The download speed is 45. And upload speed is 18. So my download speed is 40 and my upload is 20. That's what I pay for. So I'm getting a little bit faster than my I pay for for my download and a little bit slower for my upload. But either way, that's pretty good, I think. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.